Hi guys, come with us to the New York Aquarium and Coney Island Beach. Before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we are heading to the aquarium and to the Coney Island Beach. First we're doing the aquarium, then we're going to the beach. To get to the New York Aquarium, um, from Times Square, 42 Street, we took the Q Coney Island Stillwell Avenue uh, subway and we got down at West 8th Street New York Aquarium Station and from there it's only a five minute walk. So as you come out of the subway you can see straight ahead once you cross the road the New York Aquarium is right in front of you. We have pre-booked our tickets, but you can also book them here on the spot. Um, for an adult, the off-peak uh, prices are $29.95. Uh, and for a child, it's $25.95. While in peak season, the cost is $32.95 for an adult and $27.95 for a child. On a Wednesday afternoon, if you queue up outside uh, the aquarium, they let you in for free. Hello. Hello. Look at them. Just... Look at that one at the top. Yeah. It's so cool. Look at the coral and the fish. I love this. Do you like the blue one or the orange one? I love the blue one because it's a <gasps> dory and look at that big one! I love it! Is this a zebra fish? Look how cool it looks! Look at its stripes! A oh, baby one! Get it all right there! I don't know wow. what oh, another one, look! Oh yeah, baby! Look how cute they are! They're, they're both together! Can you see and another one? There's one at the, there's one at the back. There's two at the back. Yes. Yeah. See ones. Yeah. Look, they're coming out. Look at this. Hello, hello. Hello, little Lynn. <laughs> and also, guess what? Um, Hi. guess what? My friend. She had a tank with fish in yes. her house, but then she took them out, but and they made um two, one separate because that was a red one. It was a bit. It harms other fishes. There's a tank in our living room. They took it out, and there was actually snails in that tank. But they took it out of their house, and then we couldn't see them ever again. What is that? It's moving. What is it? Why is there a net? Oh look at these! They're like invisible fishes. So tiny. So cute. Who is that? Phoenix? Phoenix. Oh, look at this one. Which one do you want to show her? <gasps> that must have been in the distance. So you can tell that fish is bigger than you. <laughs> oh, they're so big. Can you say hi to someone? Their habitat. Their habitat. Oh, look at their habitat. Yeah. Look at how shiny they are. And also look at their habitat. They look so, so weird. Pretty. Oh, wait, what's that? Now let's check out some sharks and look at them swim above us. Luckily there's glass, so don't worry. to look at the stingrays. Yay! Look at the stingrays. They look so cool. Look at their habitat as well. Thank you. 
Now we're going to see the jellyfish. There's lots of different kinds, so look. When I mean different, I mean cool different. This is my mummy's favourite jellyfish. Look how they go. Wow. This is so cool. Look at this jellyfish. Look how it swims. It's super cool. Now let's see the sea lion show. <laughs> West Coast, as far north as Canada, and as far south as Mexico. The lions are very social animals, and they gather in large groups called rookeries. Now, these rookeries can be pretty noisy places. Males vocalize to announce and defend their territory, while females vocalize to identify their pups on a crowded beach. Sea lions will also communicate with each other through a breath exchange, which just so happens to look a whole lot like a sea lion kiss. She's like, I'm done. Sea lions are part of a larger group of mammals called pinnipeds. This includes seals, like our harbor seal pickles, who you might see swimming around the amphitheater. Sea lions, just like Erie, and walruses. I bet everyone here knows what a walrus looks like, right? There's also some penguins here. Look how they're feeding them. Next, we're going to watch a movie and get out of the aquarium. For the 4D show, we are now heading to the beach. This is Coney Island Beach. Look at the views of the water. Hi guys, so we are at Coney Island Beach. Look at that behind me. Wahoo! And it's beautiful. The sun is gorgeous and it's nice and warm. Um, there is the Coney Island amusement park behind us. Look, what you mean is Okay. <laughs> Let me just take you to the sea. I'm getting some water. Yeah, we're gonna fill this up. <laughs> we're not allowed to swim. Yeah, we're I don't not allowed why. to swim. There's a bit of flags on there because the lifeguards are not here at the moment. Well, we're getting but we're going to check if the sea is warm I don't think cold. so. I'll go in first. It's so cold. Is it cold? Yes, it's cold. Is it cold? Yes. Is it going to be cold? Please don't tell me it's cold. It is cold. It is cold. How cool. It's not as cold as England though. to live in these apartments so nice you could just come to the beach anytime you want and you're not that far off from New York to be fair I'm just gonna take you towards the 
amusement park. So guys, this here is Paul's daughter that you might have seen in And Just Like That um, towards the end in the last episode. It's um, a place that Steve buys and then in the end you see Miranda and Steve having a chat and just looking at the beach. It's so nice to be able to come to Coney Island to have a beach day uh, and it's not that far from New York so if you're ever visiting definitely make a stop um, in the summer to get that great beach feeling. So guys, the vibe here is definitely fun. Uh, people are playing their music boxes quite loud and some of them were just randomly dancing. It's so much fun. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll come back with more New York content. Bye bye.